Hi, I'm Chris Broadfoot. Welcome to this week's episode of Google Maps Developer Shortcuts. Now this week I'm not going to show you how to build something really hands-on. Um, I'm just going to show you a demo that I built for the O'Reilly Strata conference last year and hopefully I can inspire you to do something similar. Now it's this really cool mashup using WebGL and the Maps API um, and some very cool uh, GPS tracks um, that I found on the internet. I'm using the Canvas Layer library to show my WebGL directly on top of the map and do all of the um, interaction to do with panning and zooming and all of that. Now let's talk about the data set that I found. It's from a company called Uber um, who basically provide a taxi service. Now the interesting thing that they do is they charge the customers based on the GPS in the phone of the driver and the customer. So they've got all these really cool GPS tracks. They anonymized a whole bunch of these and provided a week's worth of GPS data. So that's 25,000 trips and about 1.1 million data points, um, all anonymized, of course, uh, and provided it for a uh, visualization competition. Um, now, I took this data and I showed it at uh, the Strata conference, as I said. Um, and I'm just going to show it again because I think it's really cool and I, I want more people to see this sort of thing um, being done. Um, now, let's look at the data. Um, so this is essentially what it looks like. It's a tab-separated se file. Um, I got it off a site called InfoChimps. Anyway, so the first column is the uh, ID of the route. Um, so this is the first route, and you can see down here, this is the, where the second one starts. Um, and you get a timestamp for the GPS point um, and the point itself. So that's really, really simple, um, but lets you build up um, all sorts of uh, interesting uh, visualizations. Okay, so the first thing I did, uh, of course, was to go and put all of these on a map. Now, if you've ever tried to plot more than, um, you know, say 10,000 or 20,000 points on a Google Maps map, you may have had some trouble. So here I'm using WebGL, which is a way to visualize massive amounts of data in the browser. Um, so you've got the, all the power of the graphics card um, and you could build games and um, all sorts of great graphic, graphical applications. Um, so let's switch over here. This is all 1.1 million points plotted. Now I've, I've drawn them with some transparency so that they start to build up and you get a real sense of the most driven roads in the city. So even if the Google map wasn't in the background, you'd still see all of these tracks and, and these roads starting to build up. Um, but because I have put the, the map in the background, um, I'm using a, a styled map to subdue all the colors, remove all the labels, um, so that the data really comes alive. Okay, so that's quite interesting. Um, and you might see some patterns like um, this sort of fuzzy area around uh, the financial district. Um, I presume that's because there's a lot of tall buildings and the GPS sensitivity, uh, sorry, the, um, the accuracy is much lower. Okay, so zooming back out, um, the first thing I did with this data was take a, a slice of time. Um, so up here in the top left, you can see I've got the, the time slice that's being displayed. Um, so this is eight and a half minutes um, in the, uh, on Sunday afternoon. So the next thing I did was change the rendering slightly um, and render points that are further back in that time slice um, with a smaller radius and slightly transparent. Now this gives the effect of a, a worm um, sort of thing so that you, you get a sense of the direction that the taxi is going in and where it's been. Now the great thing about this is once I start to move through this time slice, um, you get these worms moving across the screen. So here I'm just moving, uh, moving forward in time. So this is moving forward in time linearly uh, but you get a sense of the speed of these cars, so you can see they go quite fast on the highways and slow in the city. Uh, so we're up to about 5 p.m. now, um, and I can go faster and faster and faster. And, um, you know, if I go really, really fast, I can go all the way through the week. Um, so you get a sense of when the, when the, the traffic is quite low, uh, well, it's essentially when Uber isn't being used very much, um, which is a proxy for... Uh, the general traffic network in the city. Okay, so the next thing I did was take each of those routes and because I knew the the taxi number, the, the ID of that route, 
I could string those together and get a reading of the speed of the car. Uh, essentially, the distance it traveled divided by the, the time between samples. Okay, so by colorizing each point um, based on its speed, um, so here I'm drawing in green the fast cars and the slow ones with red, um, you get a sense of the, the fast and slow streets. Um, so you can see that the Highway 101 is quite fast into the city, um, but once again around the financial district things start to turn a little bit red. Um, now I've got up here another little panel um, that lets me change some more parameters of the rendering. Um, so for example if I zoom in I could um, perhaps turn up the opacity, uh, you know, maybe blur them out a little, uh, or increase the point size. Um, and so this, this is a really great interactive um, interface, I think. Um, so I spent quite a long time just sort of exploring this data, um, which was very fun. So yeah, once again, you can see that the GPS accuracy around the city is quite, um, quite bad. And these are, these are maybe things that uh, you wouldn't realize by analyzing your data um, uh, programmatically. Um, but once you can visualize it with your eyes, you start to see these patterns. Um, the brain is very good at recognizing patterns. And you, you'll see that there's these small pockets of um, these slow areas, uh, presumably back streets or something like that. And there's another great one down here near the airport. I think this is a taxi uh, or a cab waiting bay. Um, so it's quite slow down there. Okay, so by combining all of these effects, we get these colored squiggles moving around the map, which I think is quite cool. Okay, so, so say you wanted to use this for traffic analysis, um, perhaps we'll take a slightly larger slice of the day. So this is about, um, what's that, uh, three hours? Two, okay, let's go down to two hours. Um, and we can just slide all the, way through the all the way through the week. And you get this sense of, um, you get this sense of the, the, the city pulsing and coming alive and going to sleep at night. Um, and you can sort of see the, the problem the problem times of the week. So you can see it's quite busy here. Uh, that's Saturday night. And very, very quiet around four till six on a Sunday. And then gets busy again. So yeah, this is all made possible using WebGL and the Maps API. Um, go over and check out the Canvas Layer Library. It's in the Google Maps Utility Library. Um, and watch Brendan and Paul talking here uh, on the uh, office hours, July 24th, last year, um, to find out more about Canvas Layer. Anyway, that's my demo. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.